to make it happen, though. Um, yeah, but um, coming up, we've got Calm Animal versus Sethlon. It's going to be a great set. Yes. Sethlon definitely going Roy, and I'm pretty sure that Calm Animal is going to stick with Bowser, although he is working on other characters. Ooh, uh, but I can't wait to see I, what he I, has I don't want to. I don't want to spoil the secret for you guys no, yet. No, 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 don't spoil it. Yeah, but I can't wait to see. These These two are very loyal to their characters right at this point. You know, yes, they've sir. worked very hard yes, on sir. bringing them and rising to prominence. And you'll even see articles on Calm Animal on the top of Reddit threads. Yes, sir. This man definitely knows what he's talking about with uh, his character. Excellent choice by Sethlon going for that neutral air to the grab. The thing about Bowser is that he thrives best with that cross cancel game. Right. So you saw Calm Animal as soon as the gates opened up, pull down on his joystick, uh -huh. trying to crouch cancel the move that he knew Sethon was going to throw out. Sethon, of course, saw this, countered, and got a grab. That's how you beat Bowser, with grabs. Interesting. Okay, cool. So you're not afraid to get in there, not afraid to get into the push into the chest. Um, oh, ooh, wow. wow. And still re-grab the ledge. Now, um, the biggest thing that you're going to see from Calm Animal uh -huh. is I don't think he's going to play too aggressively because he knows that Sethlon is going to come in with that down tilt, come in with those aerials and try to get a grab. So he's going to wait for Sethlon to approach and go in with super armor attacks, like that dash yes. attack as we just saw. And as soon as he gets him off stage, He's gonna keep him off. He's gonna, yeah. he's gonna, he's gonna put that punish on. Calm Animal is really doing a good job of just kind of assessing when he's going, when Sethlon's going to press a button, and retorting very quickly, very loudly. Uh, so I want to see more of it. Sethlon, I want to see if you can try to bait him. Maybe go in for a tomahawk. Maybe you know one of those empty jumps, and then find it there. Ooh, excellent wow. back air to finish excellent him off. Excellent back air. Yeah, as you said, that was perfect spacing from Sethlon. Um, Sethlon has gotten Calm Animal's shield down just a little bit by uh, using that side B. Um, attack and as soon as Calm Animal hit that platform, he struck right underneath at his feet. Excellent spacing from Sethlon. Beautiful. Now, um, Calm Animal, I think he's a little hesitant to try to get Roy in, in you know, a ledge guard situation. Oh, wow! Oh, that down B, uh, he canceled to the up air. That's beautiful stuff. Um, but yeah, it's it's a little tough. I, it, it's just tough, edge guarding Roy, because that Blair, I'm sorry, the, the blade is. Uh, you know, disjoint, and it extends to the ledge. Yes. And so it's one of those things that even though you would like to catch guard, you just can't do it. Now, Bowser has a great horizontal recovery. Doesn't have the great vertical one, but he usually does a good job of having a great job coming back onto the stage. Fortunately, came up short there, but really trying to put on as much pressure back and answer to Cephalon as much as possible. There goes the fair. That's going to wow. end the stock. Yeah, I can't tell if Cephalon was actually DIing to the left. I know that you want to. That's the tricky thing about Bowser. When he gets you with that side B, if you want to DI away. Mm. If you DI towards Bowser, you're going to pop straight up. He's going to jump and re-grab you with that side B, put you back in the same situation you were in. So Cephalon must have been DIing away, but as soon as that fair hits, you want to change your directional influence upwards. Oof. And there goes the stock. Calm Animal is down a game. Yeah, but by no means was that a you know shoddy performance. I am extremely impressed. Sethlon is top in our community, and Calm Animal, with that character loyalty, yes. you know, is uh, demonstrating his prowess with the character. That was amazing stuff. No. Yes. Yeah, great stuff, dude. That's there's some games that, like, let's say, okay, let's say you were to face Sethlon. Sure. You know you wouldn't win. <laughs> now, Calm Animal is absolutely capable of winning, but I'm just saying to go in and take him to last stock in what could go either way. Now, that's pretty impressive stuff. So this man is doing an excellent job. And the reason that he chose Battlefield, just so you guys know, um, is because Calm Animal has some uncanny ledge movement. It is ridiculous. If you've seen Hamlin, you understand how fast that man can loop around platforms. I equate Calm Animal to Hamlin in that situation. Interesting, all right, cool. Oh wow! Getting back up. Good stuff on the new on, on the wake up game. That was excellent work. Snatching him. Wow! Get that again. Fan. It's gonna be the stop. Good stuff to Calm Animal. Coming out of the gate swinging. I like that. Uh, definitely don't discount Seth on this man. Is gonna take these combos to as you know as the limit. Push him as far as he can. Um, he's so smart. I don't even know how this man comprehends all the you know inputs he puts in. Oh wow! Bear. Coming back onto the stage. He's target practice. He's no. still back. Unbelievable. He chose to go for the options directly onto the stage as opposed to going for the sweet spot. Yes, sir. That's exactly right. Also, I just want to say that was a great job uh, by Calm Animal. Uh, keeping his character alive with great DI and then repeatedly getting back to the ledge. Keeping composure and tacking on just a little bit more damage on Cephalon before Cephalon was able to... Oh! <laughs> Speaking of Cephalon, my goodness. This man is unbelievable. Let's that, go. That fire spike. 
Which, speaking of that fire spike, dude, I'm so glad that they made it a spike. It was so, it's so hard to hit with. <laughs> yeah. In, in the previous version, it being a meteor after you. <laughs> you should get some reward for, you know. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, Cephalon's definitely the type of guy that gets mileage out of that character. I'm sorry, out of that attack. All right, coming back on. Oh, actually, dropping through the platform, really laying the hurt back on to Calm Animal. Not letting him breathe. Dash attack whiffs. We're back in neutral, though. Who is going to get the first hit here? There it is! Wow. Seth on ending the stock using that forward smash. Good yeah. work. If you guys are watching that and wondering why it's sweet spotted, Calm Animal actually put a forward tilt out. It hadn't, the animation hadn't actually come out yet, uh, but it definitely extended his hitbox. And, um, you know, Seth on was able to sweet spot off of that. Oh! That's gonna be stock. Wow. So right. quick. Now, Calm Animal's behind, but, you know, He's got a powerful character. He definitely knows how to use him. It is not by any means out of reach. No, sir. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. That is the worst position to be in underneath a platform with any of the swordsmen underneath you. Yeah, that's it's really difficult, particularly because they all have such good combo ability, and they can just lay on so much hurt. Such easy percentage. Wow. All great, right. Great, great spacing from Seth. No. Hart. Yeah, not the way that you would like to see that. Game finish, but uh, definitely an admirable performance. Um, great stuff to Calm Animal. There's nothing to be ashamed of. That no, was great absolutely stuff. absolutely not.